Terry Fox was born to Betty Fox and Roland Fox. From a young age, Terry was persistent in anything he did and hated to lose in any sports. He loved to play basketball but wasn't good at it till he was in 8th grade. Although his physical education teacher advised him to take up some other sport because of his low height, Terry persisted. Gradually, with practice, he became good enough to make the basketball team by ninth grade. He, with his best friend Doug Elward, was adjudged as co-athlete of the year in his twelfth grade. In 1976, he took admission at Simon Fraser University to study kinesiology, the science of body movement, as he aspired to become a physical education teacher. He also made it to the university basketball team. In 1977, he was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, a bone cancer due to which his right leg was amputated six inches above the knee. He was fitted with an artificial leg and was told by the doctors that his chances of surviving the cancer were 50%. During his treatment in the British Columbia Cancer Control Agency, he was troubled when he witnessed the sufferings of other cancer patients and resolved to help them. He eventually recovered from cancer. Who was Terry Fox? Terry Fox was a Canadian athlete and a cancer research activist who etched his name into Canada's folklore by his superhuman efforts. His tenacity and willpower were evident since childhood itself. At the age of only 18, Fox, a good athlete, was diagnosed with cancer and as a result his right leg had to be amputated. Instead of getting bogged down, he became mentally stronger and retained his positivity even with an artificial leg. He experienced firsthand the pains and struggles of cancer patients, and had ever since longed to help them any way he could. Soon, Fox formulated an ambitious plan of epic proportions wherein he wanted to traverse the entire length of Canada on foot to accomplish the dual purpose of raising funds for cancer research and inspiring people with disabilities. Running over 43 kilometers each day, he traveled through Canada, spreading his message everywhere. In a short time, he acquired celebrity status and succeeded in securing sizable donations. At the height of his popularity, his recurring cancer put an abrupt end to his marathon, subsequently leading to his untimely death. However, Fox had accomplished far more than what he had hoped for, not only collecting enough funds, but also making a statement that epitomized the strength of human spirit.